Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. If you are new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you find this video is when you're meant to hear the messages within it. And in case you subscribe, I upload my new videos for Capricorn and Cancer on Thursdays. Also, for those of you guys who are interested, the deck that I'm using is called the Wisdom Seekers Tarot. And as always, if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. And just as a final heads up, sometimes the cards like to flip over in the deck. I do see them, however, I usually don't take them unless they jump out like these ones have. And last but not least, my goal here is to get you guys eight cards, which it looks like we just did. So, I'm going to go ahead and put your overall energy in the upright. But, before I get started, I do want to remind you guys that if you enjoy the reading, or if it resonates with you, the best way to let me know is by leaving a like or a comment. And I really enjoy reading your comments. It's the best way for me to know. But without further ado, your overall energy here is the Fool card. Now the Fool card is a very powerful energy to have, uh, especially as your overall. Because the Fool card to me really embodies the four uh, beginnings, the new beginning cards, right? The four aces, uh, sort of like the passion of the Ace of Wands and the mental clarity of the Ace of Swords with the emotional fulfillment of the Ace of Cups as well as the stability of the Ace of Pentacles. Now, some of the more negative aspects that are sometimes associated with the Fool are sort of this uh, idea of a foolish beginning or not necessarily being too terribly methodical or meticulous when you take your beginning, but I don't sense that energy here at all. I think it's more a matter of you having had decided and made your decision, but to other people it doesn't make sense. And I feel like it only doesn't make sense because they're not in your shoes. Uh, somebody who was in your shoes would probably come to the same decision, but it, it's different as an outsider looking in. And that's why you have sort of this weird disconnect between what you think and what maybe others are uh, judging you, especially with this judgment card. Um, but how they're perceiving your actions from the outside. Now, I already kind of started talking about this judgment card, but the judgment card, to me, being in reverse almost feels if, as people are unfairly judging your ideas. Uh, I feel like you guys have like some kind of a passion project or some kind of an idea in general that you're trying to manifest or bring into reality. And I feel like people are really preemptively judging you. Uh, I feel like you might really begin to sort of explain your plan and they already just kind of get that look in, on their face and it feels unfair because the, just, the judgment card is in reverse. I also feel like on the same token, it's you not necessarily passing a final judgment. I feel like there's parts of your plan that need to be ironed out uh, sort of like the ending stages and you're not really doing that and I feel like that's par probably contributing to what's going on uh, to the, how other people perceive it but I don't necessarily feel like there's anything bad per se about it and I'm looking at the readings and there's not necessarily anything like terribly fantastic about it either it just feels very neutral uh, very like middle of the road, like dead center. And it was really interesting because uh, just this morning I was watching a documentary about uh, bl uh, that one band that does the song I'm Blue. And they said that when they made it, it was very interesting because it was too sort of like pop to be on the radio or yeah to be like used as dance music but it was too sort of dancey to be played on the radio so because they had done the song that was like dead center it will it kind of alienated people in the end 
And I feel like that's kind of where you're at because you have the Three of Cups and the Three of Cups talks about reunions and celebrations. And because it's in reverse, I almost get this energy of like alienating people. And I don't think it really bothers you a whole lot, but there's sort of this weird feeling about it because like the emperor to me, especially if you're a male Capricorn, would feel very much, would be like a really good sign, especially since the ruling planet of the Emperor, which is Mars, uh, is exalted in the sign of Capricorn. But because it's in reverse, it almost leads me to believe like, you're not feeling very much like you're in control or very much like you're in command. And I feel like for in a lot of cases, you guys are just kind of shy of that. Um, like, when I mean just shy, I mean, like, almost there, but not quite. There's, like, some kind of things that you really need to work out. So, I definitely recommend proceeding with caution, and I feel like you are, and I feel like it's not going to be that big of an issue, but, like, yeah, it's dead center. Like, I don't really see a whole lot of this, like, even though there's this Five of Cups, which is sort of disappointment and sadness. Like, I feel like there's the very real fear of that and the very real fear that if you do end up in this Five of Cups situation, people are going to judge you and perceive you like the Emperor in reverse. But I feel like, you know, you have the Four of Cups in reverse, which is a good card. Four of Cups is sort of dissatisfaction and wanting more out of a situation. And the fact that it's in reverse leads me to believe that you're very content and happy with what you've chosen and what you're uh, moving towards. And with the Three of Cups, like, you have the three to the four to the five. So I'm seeing a lot of progression. I'm seeing, like, things are going to move forward. I'm almost getting the phrase whether you like it or not, but I don't feel like that phrase is directed at you. I feel like that's almost you directing your energy at other people. Like, hey, uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it with or without your support. And I don't think, like you want to be sort of in this antagonistic energy. And I don't think it's very good for you to be that person, but I do feel like there's like maybe one or two people in your life that are like so adamantly against what you care about or what you believe in. I don't know why I'm getting like green earth phrase in my head. So some of you guys might be starting some kind of conservation project or something to better the earth, but like I was saying, like, there's some people that are just, like, very staunchly against what you are, and, like, if it's to the point where it's unreasonable and, like, even toxic, like, certainly don't listen to them, but do listen to actual constructive criticism. But you also have the Three of Wands here, which, to me, sort of further lends itself to this energy of, like, you have your mind made up, and you're going to move forward with it. Right, because the Ace of Wands to me is sort of like a new beginning, right? So you're taking in the information and sort of surveying out the land or whatever. And then once you move on to the Two of Wands, you're making your plan. And I feel like you guys have already been there, done that, gotten the shirt, t shirt. And now you're moving on to this Three of Swords, or rather, Three of Wands energy, which talks about making your plan a reality you know, executing the plan, and then more importantly, checking out what your results are afterwards. And I don't think that it's going to be bad, because you have the Queen of Pentacles here, and especially if you're a female Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles is very much your energy, right? Because the Queen of Pentacles represents Earth signs such as Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, and that's material stability. So I feel like a lot of you guys might be starting some kind of a business. I'm getting that very strongly. But, like, you have the Six of Swords here, which to me says that whatever all this energy that's, like, very bringing you down like a burden to you, you're moving away from that. And then you're moving into this Queen of Pentacles energy. And I feel like there's some people that you just kind of need to stop talking about this because like you bring it up and they're just so incredibly unsupportive and detrimental to your plans. Like it doesn't feel good to, to talk about what your plans even are. But I feel like once you do get all, like once you dot all your I's and cross all your T's, you're gonna start the road onto this full energy 
and everything's gonna square away the way you want it to. It's just like right now that you're not quite like in the final stages of your plan that things feel very much like people aren't on board. Like the further along you go through with your plan, I feel like more and more people are gonna start to be on board. But that's your reading first time around Capricorn. If you enjoyed, please leave a like or a comment because it really helps out the channel. And I personally really love to know if these readings resonate with you guys. But like I said before, I upload my new Capricorn videos on Thursdays. But in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings that I have up on the channel. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys next time for your next reading.